Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's time to take global stories making headlines in our national dailies. And today we'll be starting with the Vanguard. The Vanguard leads with executive order, drug makers seek clear timeline, stable Naira for 70% production. The writers here says maintain non-implementation hampering companies placing order on importation of raw materials. Others say unless Naira value was fixed, local drug manufacturing a mirage. Now, I know that a lot of companies have left Nigeria, and um, that is really due to um, the exchange rate at the moment. Obviously, inflation also plays a major role, but when we're looking at the FX rate, most companies cannot thrive in this economy at the moment, and that's why they're leaving. And of course, we can see here on the Vanguard, they're saying if there's a clear timeline for stable Naira, then they can have about 70% production. Yemgo, what do you think about this one? Yeah, well, um, Naira is everything. Mm -hmm. Dollar is everything. It's mm -hmm. a global currency, and we do hope that it's uh, stable. Right now, we have um, the Naira very close to 2,000 Naira. It's a... Uh, or the official market is about 1,573 naira or so. Yeah. Black market, surprisingly, is about uh, 1,550 or 1,530 or thereabouts and mm. all that. But the thing is, it's above 1,005. Mm -hmm. And it is, that is not the problem. The problem is that we don't even know whether tomorrow it will be higher yeah. or lower. And so you cannot plan. And it's a big problem. I remember when the finance minister came and he was saying, oh, don't worry, we would have the Naira um, less than about 8,000. Yeah, mm -hmm. less than about 900 Naira to the dollar. And then uh, there was just this magic work that was being done. And the dollar that was worth about 2,000 Naira started to come down. So it was 1,008, 1,005, even got to about 1,100. Mm -hmm. But in the past few months, we've seen it go back. And now it's almost 1,600. So of of course, I can understand where these local manufacturers are coming from because if there is no stable economy, if there is no stable Naira, that's our own currency, then how can I even plan? How do I, how can I buy you my materials? The market and the people tell you that uh, to, uh, what price you saw last week mm -hmm. is not the same. Yes, it, no, the it, it's not even last week. Yeah. Yesterday's price is not today's you price. The market, they, they, you understand with them that the exchange rate is also a determinant when it comes to the price in the market. Because hmm. if you just sit here, even if you still have your goods that you bought with the previous price, knowing that when you go back to the market, it might be higher. Hmm. We said it's so high to cover the future costs that you may be making. Otherwise, you'll be running at it. Yeah. Cost. And you understand it. There's even another story here on the Vanguard that says inflation, we're suffering for ways and means loan, and that is by Cato. So there is just a lot that I think the government really needs to look at how they can fix our economy. Because people are not smiling. Yeah. I am not smiling. <laughs> they, will say, they will say that the Ways and Means loan was taken by the previous administration. Mm -hmm. But guess what? They are also taking loans and mm -hmm. even more than the previous administration. And I, I don't know when we will start paying these loans. Even though they have said that some of the suffering that we are experiencing is because they are paying. Mm -hmm. the, that the foreign reserves were not, was not growing because... Um, they were paying loans and all that. We, we are not seeing the impact of even what policies they are making to make sure that yeah. we, we, we have a better lease of life. So I don't know. I don't know. As of today, uh, the Naira is about 2,000 to the, the pound. British pounds, yes. The British pound, which is an all-time high. So mm -hmm. I, I don't really know where we're going to. Um, at some point, people who were... Uh, for this administration, we're saying, hey, you, you people that were projecting that the Naira might get to 2,000 uh, Naira to a, a, a dollar, um, shame on you. Mm. You see, the, the, the government is really working. Mm -hmm. Guess what? We're going back Magic. There. We're, we're going working back. magic, the magic man. And I did lost. not believe it. I, I knew for a fact. I'm like, if you're doing something now, right, that has made these numbers come, what, what, why were you not doing it before? So what have you done now that has changed everything? Which means that we're not doing anything. It was just the market forces that were trying to yeah. uh, cancel out themselves right mm. now. It has, it's going back. So Just a mirage. Okay, let's take this one from the business NG. It's also on the punch. It says, uh, federal government agrees with all producers on crude supply terms to local refinery 
On the punch, it says federal government IOCs agree on crude supply to Dangote and local refinery. I know that you've talked about local refinery in the past and saying, why can't we um, invest in them, help them? Because if we have so many refineries that are not working, there are people who are doing it in their little corners where they can still refine these products. Why can't we do that? Why do we have to keep importing um, this product that we need so much in the country? The problem is, even now, Dangote was talking about importing crude from America. Yes. Uh, you know, when we have it in Nigeria. And I was asking the question, now that you're giving bids, you've g opened for bidding uh, some of these oil wells, why not you make it so easy for the local refineries to have some of these wells to produce the crude that will be supplied to their refineries directly? Mm. Okay, so now they're entering into this agreement, and even now, the NNPC is trying to take a loan that they will pay in future 30 to 40,000 uh, barrels per day of mm. crude oil that will go to uh, finance the loan. Well, All right. Well, um, on the punch, it leads with federal government flaws governors as Supreme Court outlaws caretaker ESCO joint accounts. And uh, this is something we're going to be discussing even more with our hot topic. We're going to go on a short break right now. When we return, we're looking at the Supreme Court granting local government financial autonomy. Please stay with us.